Hey everybody, Wayne here. I see the question asked quite a bit, what would be a good game for someone new to the wargaming hobby? Um, I'm a relatively new wargamer myself. I've only been playing for maybe four or five years. Um, I haven't been playing decades like some wargamers have. So I know exactly the type of game that I was interested in that got me into war games. The games that really I transitioned from, uh, you know, more of traditional board games, uh, Euro games, Ameritrash, and into wargaming. Um, obviously, we're going to focus on solitaire war games here. That's what this channel does. So I figured I'd go ahead and put a video up with a little list of just three games that I think would be great to get a new player into the wargaming hobby. So without further ado, here we go. The first game on my list is Hornet Leader. Hornet Leader is designed by Dan Verson and published by DVG. The game places you in command of the pilots and aircraft of a squadron of U.S. Navy strike aircraft in hostile campaigns around the world. What I love about Hornet Leader is that is the amount of gameplay that you get in one box. Um, it has a ton of re replayability. So in the game, um, you pick a campaign, and depending on how that campaign is, it says what aircraft you can have, what equipment you can have, what munitions you can have, because all of them are different, set in different times um, in history. Based on that, you assemble a squadron of pilots, you choose a mission, um, you equip your aircraft for that mission, then you actually play out the mission using your handpicked team. So the way the game works, it really it kind of combines RPG elements of managing a group of pilots who go up and level. They gain experience, uh, they become more proficient with the tactical gameplay of the missions themselves, the actual you know act of your aircraft entering the battle space and you know shooting off missiles and rolling the hit and things like that. Um, the amount of the aircraft, pilots, equipment, and ordnance you can choose from, in my mind, really brings out the theme and the feeling of commanding a wing of jet aircraft. Also, the really nice benefit of it is learning Hornet Leader introduces you to the world of the Leader series. Featuring over a dozen big box games, the Leader series is one of the most popular series of solitaire war games being published today. And that's why Hornet Leader is on my list of one of the top three solitaire war games for new players. Second on my list is In Magnificent Style. In Magnificent Style, designed by Herman Lutman, originally published by Victory Point Games, but most recently published in a deluxe version by Worthington Publishing. A Magnificent Style is a solitaire war game depicting the final desperate Confederate attack on July 3rd, 1863 at the Battle of Gettysburg, more properly known as Pickett's Charge. You command this historically doomed attack. What's really unique about this game is that it brings a mechanic familiar to many other board gamers, and that is push your luck, and it introduces it to wargaming. The push your luck combined with the dice rolling, combined with the random events from the cards, gives the game a lot of chaos and luck. However, there is also luck mitigation with your leader's special abilities. The key is knowing when and where to use them. Also, the high quality components will make any board gamer comfortable. Mounted map, large thick game tokens, and high quality cards. The rules are easy to learn, the game itself is quick to play, once you're familiar with the rules, you can play multiple games in a city. From the artwork to the card events, the theme and history shine through with this one. This is one that actually probably either got me into wargaming or was one of the very first games I played. Now I'm talking about the version from Victory Point Games because this version from Worthington is actually literally just maybe a year old. Um, so it's very new. Um, and it, let me tell you, when they, mean, when they say deluxe, they mean it. So this is the definitive version of the game. So you're looking at something that was one of my favorite games that I've ever played. And I also think that it is a great new game for new war gamers, for people who are making that transition into war games. Whether you're, I mean, still playing other games, what I'm saying is getting into war games does not have to be intimidating. And a game like this that takes advantage of um, mechanisms that you're already familiar with is going to help you get into the these historical games. And that is In Magnificent Style. And now the third and final game on my list, and that's Stilico, Last of the Romans. Designed by Robert Dolesky and published by Hollenspiel. The Goths are marching on Rome, in Gaul, Vandals, and Alans pour across the Rhine, 
Meanwhile, a usurper from distant Britannia has raised his standard. The survival of the Western Empire depends on one man, Flavius Stilicho, barbarian general, commander-in-chief of the armies of Rome, and de facto ruler of the West. And that's you. The core of the game is a modern staple of solitaire war games, the States of Seeds engine. Um, that is something that you will hear. You will hear States of Siege games mentioned quite a bit, recommended quite a bit, especially for new war gamers. Um, some of them are simple, perhaps too simple. Um, but in this case, the designer has taken what was originally a simplistic system and brought much more player agency into it. Um, the main thing that I love about this game is the hand management. So it has that States of Siege style where you have enemies encroaching on you from every direction and you never feel like you have enough resources. But it's not just a matter of rolling some dice or flipping over a card. You actually have a hand of cards to manage and you have this, and it's kind of, it's not card driven, but it's card assisted. And you have to look at these cards and say, okay, do I play it for the special event? Do I play it for just a generic action? Or do I even get a chance to play the card at all? Um, do I use it to stop the barbarians from marching on Rome, etc.? There's so much to the game, all in a very small package. Um, and that's why I definitely think that it is a great States of Siege game and great introductory game, but it does not just it is not a simple one by any means. Um, so Stilico, it does have a paper map, which is probably the most war game aspect of this game, but don't let that stop you from checking it out. The graphical design is fantastic. The map itself is gorgeous. The cards are easy to read while featuring historical artwork that make the theme really pop. Speaking of history, the game has it in spades. Um, the event cards are based on historical events and the rulebook gives you the history. In fact, the last eight pages of the rules give an overview of the history and the personalities involved. Now, this game is based on the Wars of Marcus Aurelius. Um, and that is a, an excellent game as well. But I prefer this one, both the system seems to have been refined more, the graphical design of it is far exceeds the first one um, in really every aspect. I mean, the weakest spot is probably just the cover. Um, in actuality, when you're looking at it and you guys are seeing, you know, seeing pictures of it, the game itself, the game itself is beautiful. It's beautiful on your table. And you're really, when you're playing this and you learn it, you're learning part of history that you probably, I know I didn't anyway, I'll speak for myself, didn't know a whole lot about, but it's still a fascinating part, that latter part, the last bit of the uh, Western Roman Empire. All right, everyone. So those are my top three solitaire war games for new gamers. Now I have videos on all of them. Hornet Leader, the least. I think I just have a couple mission videos, but I know I have um, playthrough video, overview and review videos, um, unboxing videos of Stilico and of Immagnificent Style. So I'm gonna include some links below in the description of this video. Please check them out if you want to. Again, I think these games, in my opinion, these games make great introductions to wargaming. Um, they're not the only games that are good at that, but maybe we'll save those for another video. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at these games. Um, please check them out. I'll also have links to Board Game Geek for each of the games below. So you can quick little link to check them out. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below. Let me know if you liked the video. And let me know what your favorite introductory war game is. Till next time, guys. Later.